Muta is I marry a woman temporarily and then I divorce her and I pay her. So you admit that unlike Sunni Muslims who say that Muta is abrogated, it's done I away. I can debunk that. Okay, before you debunk it, hear me out. The Sunni say it's abrogated, it's zinna. Unlike the Sunni, you admit and agree, no, it's not abrogated. It's still something we can enjoy, right? Correct. Good. Hon Man, you, I really like you because you're very honest. So let me ask you a very honest question and be honest before God. If I'm a Shia and I come up to your sister, and I'm just giving it, I'm not trying to attack you. I just want you to understand why we who are non-Muslims, when we see this, it disgusts us. If I come to your sister and I say, I want to marry your sister for three days. We'll go to the imam. We'll do whatever we need to do. But after three days, when I'm done with her, I'm going to divorce her and pay her money. Wait, uh, just one quick question. Are you a Shia Muslim? Are you assuming yeah, that you're Shia? I'm a Shia. Let's say okay. I'm a Shia. Okay, so the ruling, so, okay, so the ruling is uh, if, you're marrying, if you're temporarily marrying my virgin sister, you must ask our permission. It would okay. be up to my discretion. So I ask you, and yeah. what grounds would you say no? On what grounds would I say no? Um, yes. Because muta is being performed in the Shia world. So obviously there are people who are saying yes. So let's not play the game that everyone says no. So let's assume I go to a Shia family and I say to them, I'm going to marry your sister for three days and then I'm going to divorce and pay her. And they say yes. Please convince me you would be okay with someone doing that to your sister or if someone. If my is okay with it. If it's what this, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you mean so, a sane woman consent. would be okay with that? Hmm? A moral woman would be okay with being paid to have sex with a man. You Call have to get her permission as well as ours. I can't force her into it. That's just what I'm trying to get at. Which morally sane woman who has any decency would say yes to such a practice when the purpose of the practice is the man to have sex with me unless the woman herself is a whore who just wants to have sex? Well, that's the thing. The, this situation is not common. It won't happen. I guarantee It's not that. common. You're telling me that in predominantly Shia countries, where the Shia are the majority, it's not common. Who are you kidding, man? You trying to kid me? No, I'm not trying to kid you. You're, From what you're I know. doing it in England. There are Shia in England. One who I spoke to years ago in Paltak is, oh, I'm about to go do muta marriage with someone who wasn't even a Muslim. It was one of these English women native English woman. He goes, oh, I'm, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. This was on Paltak years ago. I go, what are you doing? I'm going to go do a muta marriage with this English woman. You're doing it all over. You're doing it in England. You're doing it in America. You're doing it in Shia countries. Don't do it. That's crazy. Because listen, if it's an English woman, how do you, it's not a Shia. So your whole analogy was that uh, you're a Shia person you know why? asking another Shia person no, no. for Shia okay, sister. You know why? Because your Quran says you can marry Jews and Christians. Chapter yeah. 5. Five. So yes. you're telling me you can't do muta with a Jewish woman or a Christian woman? You can. I'm saying that your analogy you can, right? is terrible. Yeah, yes, you can. you can. Thank you. That's all I'm getting at. So you just convinced me. You just made my point. He was doing muta with a Christian girl who was okay with it because she was a Christian by name. Because a decent Christian woman who loves Jesus would say, the hell with you, you satanic bastard. I'm no whore. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. much prostitution. Yeah. I mean, how does that tell you morally? Like what Sam was saying, somebody tells your sister, your own sister, what does your conscience tell you about that? Well, uh, if I had a sister, I would leave it up to her opinion. Okay. And you'd be okay with that. Honestly, before God, you'll be okay with your sister. Say again that, please. I, Say I think again I what would... you said about your sister. Say I again what you said about your sister. I think I would, uh, if I had a sister, I think I would, you know, I would probably see that. First of all, I'm not even the 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 wali uh, it's it's the father who actually has the permission but let's say i was the father okay let's change it to my daughter um i think i would probably look at the, i think i would probably look at the qualities of the man i mean i, I have that option as well no, i'm not just it's not just about the qualities car. man the guy's gonna only be with your daughter for three days how much qualities can he have for you to look at i don't know i feel like you're very tight on this three-day analogy okay but Six honestly day. i've Six never months. I've never seen under six months, yeah. Okay, good. You're okay with someone marrying your daughter for six months and then divorcing your paying her? Yeah. Come on, listen to yourself. Yeah, because this listen can to always yourself. lead to permanent marriage. There's no issue with this. It's one thing to marry someone for permanent marriage. I'm going to marry her till I die, and it doesn't work out you divorce. Okay. That happens all the time. That's not what muta is. Muta, you're stipulating a time period. I'm going to marry mm -hmm. her for six months and divorce her. Now, after six months, I want to extend it for... Come on, dude. 
Be serious. Be yeah, honest. Being, okay, hundred percent honest. Yeah. You okay with it? Well, I don't really see a issue how this would destroy a religion, to be honest. But it destroys a religion because it turns women into whores and prostitutes, where you pay them for sex for money. This is okay. legalized prostitution. What do you mean? How? It doesn't destroy religion. No, we believe that prostitution is when someone marries without the intent, uh, without without a contract. That is our definition of prostitution. Okay. So you'd redefine prostitution. Mean if I go sleep with a woman without a marriage contract, but as long as I write a marriage contract saying I want to sleep with you for six months, call it marriage, and divorce you and pay you money, and you still don't see that's prostitution. My goodness. No, wow, nowhere in our scripture does it say that that's prostitution. That's the whole point. That's why we reject your scripture, because if it's from God, who's morally perfect, he would never denigrate women to that level of treating them as sexual meat, as whores, but then disguising it as marriage. Thank you. That's our point. Okay. All right. I, I understand what, what you're trying to say.